Hi there, welcome to my another installment of Aircrum tutorial series and in this video we're about to cover the internal schema and internal organization of Aircrum library and how it how the interaction with Telegram API is established and how it's organized internally. So let's move on to the following schema. Here we can see client Telegram, Telegram API, Aircrum, Python and database instances. What does that all mean? So at a first glance it can seem daunting or a little bit intimidating for someone, especially if you don't have at all experience, and some experience in building Telegram boats, but typically it's pretty simple. So the more you delve into all the details, the more understanding you have, and the easier this process will seem to you. So, all right, so the first thing we have here is our clients. Our clients should communicate with uh, Telegram boats. Telegram boats are just, as I mentioned earlier, Telegram boats are just Telegram accounts that you previously created in, in our prior video tutorial in our previous video tutorial so we just created telegram boat as a typical account and we have access to this account through our authorization token token api so this pretty useful feature of telegram boats because we can connect our telegram boats and read all the requests read all the updates that telegram boats get from our clients from our users so once the user sends a message or interacts with our telegram boat for example it can push the buttons, it can send the messages or anything like that. That's not necessarily messages like text messages. It can send images, it can send photos, videos, GIFs, and uh, whatever it is. It's going to work perfect because our Telegram API internally implements all this logic. Uh, it processes all types of files that user can send through Telegram. And after this, our Telegram API wraps this messages wraps these message objects into a special instance that's called updates updates instances are just like uh, an encapsulation of specific events that happens on a telegram boat side whenever user sends our boat a telegram message it wraps into update object and this update object will will be sent our http protocol to our airgram library and here you can notice two primary instances, AUHTCP in our diagram, and you can also notice Airgram internals. I decided to separate these two components because Airgram HTCP and since HTCP to be more precise, this is like a, an instance of primitive web servers. So this is oversimplified diagram that shows that communication with our Telegram API is built upon HTTP protocol and it's typically already implemented and regulated by our Airgrim library, so you don't have to fret about it too much. Understanding of these components and the communication between these components and the interaction between these components, how they interact, how they make up this workflow, it can be highly beneficial if you want to be more proficient at bow development. So that's why I decided to make this video tutorial. And here you can also see polls and the number one and a number two updates. What does that mean? The meaning is that pretty simple because our Airgrim library sends the pulse request. Pulse request is like long polling. If you don't, if you're not familiar with long polling, that means that you have some HTTP requests to poll our Telegram API if that has necessary updates from our Telegram user. So this is like when we say our Telegram API, hey, have you have any updates from our last time? And if Telegram API says us, like, yeah, I have some updates because some users sent me messages. So I'm going to show you these updates. I'm going to send you these updates. So it shows us these updates objects for our HTTP protocol here. That's our first step. If our Telegram API doesn't have any updates, updates instances, it doesn't respond at all. It just nothing, nothing, no updates. Because our poll requests have some, uh, typically ha they typically have some timeout. Once this timeout ends, our Agrum HTTP library will send another request. And how does this Agrum HTTP library send all these requests, pull requests to our Telegram API to check uh, the existence of new updates and new events on the Telegram site? How does that happen? Full disclosure, we don't have to worry about it. Because Agrum HTTP, Agrum controls over asynchronous HTTP. It's built upon a sense and it's built upon IOHTCP, so we don't have to worry about it because it's typically encapsulated into executor object. So executor object is like something like a wrapper around our 
a HTTP client. This makes everything very, very simple, provides us a great opportunity to concentrate and focus our attention on building our internal business logic, our logic that's built upon Python code. So yes, Ghost Airroom library is implemented in Python. It's completely Python library, so it's pure Python library that's implemented exactly on Python code and nothing else. So we can concentrate and focus our attention exactly on building business logic without worrying about interacting with Telegram API. And that's the primary goal of existence of this Airroom library. That's the primary goal why it's highly beneficial to incorporate such libraries like Airroom library, like, and you know, frankly speaking, I don't even know more Telegram API libraries that was implemented in Python that will let you to communicate with Telegram API so effectively because it's a really, really highly efficient library that implements a synchronous paradigm. And it means it works without any input output blocks. It's not synchronous, it's asynchronous. So it can, it can process our updates in parallel, I mean asynchronously. So you can read more about it in asynchronous documentation. You can refer to a lot of stuff that exists in, in the internet, YouTube tutorials. There are a lot of things that you can read about it, about asynchronous libraries. So I don't think it's a big deal. All right, so once we have our update object from our Telegram API, we process this update object. How do we process this update object? Honestly speaking, our Airroom library implements internally a special parser. This parser will parse your update object and transfer it into a message object or update object inside your Python code. This is a Pythonic style. This is like a Pythonic object, like just dictionary. This dictionary contains all unnecessary keyword pairs, key value pairs that corresponds to specific events. So everything is already implemented. Everything is already done without us, without our intervention into this process. And this is quite impressive. So this is quite impressive because now we can just focus on building communication with a database. We can build communication with Redis. We can work on building our other services like, for example, like Docker, like another API, Google API, whatever you want. So it doesn't matter. It just it's situational. It depends on your specific requirements and on your willings. So that's it, I guess, the result of it in this video. We've discussed about the communication between Telegram API and Airroom library. The key thing you have to understand about this, that we can focus on building our business logic. In the next video, we're going to consider how to build our first handlers. We're going to take a look at the main handlers and the main filters that exist in Airroom library and how to properly handle and process this update objects that's already converted into Python dictionary. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for conferring your time with me. See you at the next episode.